Okay, I did a little bit of grinding. Now I'm back in the Vault of Tears. I already tested the waters against some enemies and I should be able to handle them now. I'm gonna get refrogged. Now they're fleeing from me. Now it should be a little easier. Let's see, I'll show what I have equipped now. Put Mighty back on just because. Huh? Because, oh yeah, a bunch of other guys are gonna metamorphose, and I'm a little reluctant to use up those star things on them. Yeah, he became an open, <laughs> open banana. That's hilarious. That one actually charged for me. Okay, let's hope we can do it. The only one that can heal is Swain's familiar. Shit. It's that damn Naja thing. Come on, Swain, use your healing familiar. Ah. Well, fuck. <laughs> well, you can still do tidy tears? Amazing. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know if I'm gonna live, but let's. Alright, cancelled whatever the hell he was gonna do. No, not that again. Kill him! Kill him! It's just that fucking thing. Wind tunnel. Oh, yeah, I forgot that damn thing metamorphosed. Level 6, no wonder why he's not using it. Well, shit. I wish I'd tried against that, ah, <coughs> against that monster. Okay, let's hope I can slither past whatever. Doink, doink, doink. <laughs> swimmy, swimmy. Swim in water. I hope I get defrogged or something. I, I really doubt I can get through this whole dungeon like this. Ah, cutscene. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hmm? I'm sure that frog came over by here. Ribbit. Oh, there he is. Split, stop, please. That still looks hilarious. It's that little freaking open mouth look. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. This is some great dialogue. Come on, everybody. We have to go after it. He's right. We can't let it get away. Get him! Fix our condition, Mr. Frog. Ah, floor tile. But well, that was a minor inconvenience. Woohoo, we're back to normal. Phew, the novelty of being a frog wears off pretty quickly, eh? I know, and I'm having I'm having to speak an awful uh, I had to speak in that awful frog language language. It was just so tiring. Two ribbit man. Or I mean two right man. <laughs> Heh, looks like Drippy miss, misses his froggy form. Anyway, we should go, get back to searching for that stone. Wait, what if... I think that rainbow-colored frog was trying to lead us here. So why hasn't he changed back to human like we did? Maybe he just he was just a normal frog all along. Hmm, I don't know, but it is curious. 
Well, I'm sure we'll bump into to it again, <coughs> to again for long. But the cat's playing for before long, ain't it? Now then, let's start looking for that stone shell. <coughs> Holy shit! What are you trying to knock shit over? <laughs> sure thing. Let's take a look around these ruins. These ruins. First of all, freaking heal herself. Jeez. I need a better heal. Heal myself five times. What the hell? Espresso. Some coffee and another chest. <laughs> Little devil. No. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm not a frog anymore, so I'm not help. Stop that. I know you're having fun, Kaz, but jeez, it's distracting. Anyways. <laughs> I don't want to go back past that statue. It might refrog me. Oh, that frog's right here. Hey, frog. Can I talk to you? Okay, let's try it down here. Star. Where, where are we? Crikey, this place is a bit, uh, is, is a bit blinking grim. Must be a prison or something. Is there someone there? Ah, who's that? It's a flip another, a frog, another one. Another one? Do you mean to say someone else has been blighted by my curse? Actually, we were cursed and turned into frogs ourselves. But we didn't look lo like you. But we didn't look. <clears throat> but we didn't look like you do. Leave now. You must leave this place. It is dangerous. That dangerous. Ugh. Why did I say it like that? Anyways. Uh, but you. Do not waste time worrying about me. Yeah. What the fuck is that? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Oh, Oliver. We've got to do something. Yes, we have to help him. I guess I can use magic to get this door open. Let's give it a try. Yeah. And healing touch him? Yeah, I know. Spring lock. Rip it! Magic! Ooh! Yeah, what are you doing? Leave me alone. I beseech you. Wait a minute. Are you... Are you a frog prince? Glenn. You you know who I am, but how? The frog prince in the desert. That's you, isn't it? The one who left his kingdom, ab abandoning his princess. <laughs> yeah. How do you... What are you going on about, Esther? Are you trying to confuse us or something? Hmm, I wouldn't... It wouldn't take much to confuse the likes of you. <laughs> That's nice. Swain, I'm just a bit shocked, all right? I didn't think we'd be bumping to a prince from a fairy tale, did I? A fairy tale? Ah, I see. So that's what you... So that... So that... So that is how you know of me. Stop it. <laughs> now, let me think. Ah, yes, I remember. All right, listen carefully. Once upon a time, before the fathers and our fathers, fathers were born, holy shit, they went by quick, in a kingdom that lived a handsome, courageous young prince who was loved by a subject, yeah. Then one day, a kingdom was attacked by a monster serpent, a beast, and hideous as struck and fell to the sun, a terrible curse, evil creature, yeah. The prince decided that in order to defeat this serpent, he would have to drink a potion, something. Though soon he had swallowed the diabolical draught, he began to turn into a ah, turn into a frog. What? Why would he drink a potion and turn him into a frog? A frog that doesn't stand a chance of beating a snake. I haven't finished the story yet. I told you to listen carefully, didn't I? Don't ask stupid questions. Now, where was I? Oh yes, the reason he decided to turn into a frog was. 
to lure the serpent into a false sense of security by becoming one of the favored foodstuffs. Okay. If I recall correctly. Ahem, yes. My apologies. Please continue. And so, the prince turned himself into a frog, for he had a plan. He knew the serpent would not be able to resist eating him, and... Ugh, geez, that goes that quick! I can't control it! He planned the serpent to swallow the prince, he received that, jeez. But alas, the prince could not return to his original form. No matter what he did, no matter what he tried, he remained an ugly frog. This caused him great distress. He could not stop thinking about the foolish something. So he vowed to hide himself away from the world. Now the prince was married to a beautiful something, <laughs> beautiful bitch, and uh, something about uh, forever and ever, yeah. She had not seen him and left the face of the servant, he began to seem uh, depressing. I don't care, if you're gonna go by that quickly and I'm too incompetent to read it, then, then I'm just a fucking idiot, I'm sorry. Waiting until the end of, the end of her days. Waiting to what? Well, I missed something in between. You went too quickly, bitch. Hmm. She waited, you say, and I see that is that it truly become a fairy tale. Gee, that's that's a pretty sad story. Every girl in Alma Moon told the, that story when they're young, and everyone cries the first time they hear it. You speak as if. It were the work of a, of, you know, as if it were work of fiction. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince Ali. Prince Ali. It has been a very long time since anyone has called me by that name, by my name. <laughs> well then, shall I tell you the final chapter of uh, of your fairy tale? The final chapter. So the prince left his princess behind and turned back and. Back on, turned his back on the king, his kingdom. The princess' wa name was ya yes, Yasmina. Yasmina, okay, Yasmina. By the way, she was a uh, she was loved by the prince's by the she was loved the prince's life, and yet he abandoned her. Many years passed. The prince remained a frog, only to find his dismay only to find to his dismay that he was unable to die. Yes, he was destined to live as a frog forever. Even after his kingdom had been raised to the ground. That's just terrible. Huh, I may have suffered, but nothing compared to the pain I caused, caused my beloved Yam Yasmina. What a weird name, Yasmina. Indeed, I feel sometimes that just is punished, just punishment, whatever. But why are you in this cell, your highness? It is the serpent. A peep. What the fuck? Another weird name. A peep? A pip? A pep? Whatever. He has returned someone. He has returned. Someone brought him back to life. I don't think there are many people who could breathe, breathe new life into an ancient monster. Yeah, I can only think of one. You mean Shadar? Oh, not Shadar again! Oh, wasted no time in taking his revenge. That is how I came imprisoned here. What's going on with him? It's like a weird animation on him, twitching in between the cycles of his animation. Anyways, I'm gonna say the line and. Long intends to pro prolong my agony. Have I have I not suffered enough to remain in this form to live without my beloved Oliver? Isn't it a spell you can cast in the Prince Ali back? Prince Ali bring Prince Ali back to normal. You mean something to lift the curse? That lift that curse? <laughs> lift the curse that turned him into a frog? Hmm. Hang on a flippin' minute, man. Why don't we use that magic circle that lifted the frog, froggy curse? You're right. It worked on us. Maybe it might work on him. But surely you did not consume this same. Sh you did not consume the same shape-shifting potion that I did. Well, it was it wasn't a potion, but no. 
but not not important right now. Come on, your highness. Let's give the magic circle a try. Could such ma such magic truly reside in this temple? And what if I were to become human again? What new torments would a pip devise for me then? You must think a you mustn't think of things like that, your highness. We must try at least. Now come on, come with us. We'll take you straight to Magic Circle. Prince Ali is coming with you. Ali Baba. Prince Ali Baba. Use your familiar, Ali. <laughs> All right, we got freaking Glenn. Why do you walk into a wall? Prince Ali, this is the magic circle that lifted our curse. Magic circle? Could such a thing really have the same effect on me? Well, there's only one way to find out. Yes, you are right. Ali Baba! Observe it, not work. Like how it kind of activated, but nothing happened. What? I don't understand. He's standing in the circle just like we did. Nothing's, but nothing's happening. The poor fellow has been like that for thousands of years. We only, we only were, we were only cursed for a few minutes. I'm so sorry, Prince Ali. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. There's no need to apologize. I was rather expecting this to happen. I do not believe my curse will be lifted while a pip draws his breath. He he is he he is doubtless using his foul magic to strengthen this hold. Well then, it's pretty obvious that what we need to do, ain't it? Mr. Drippy's right. There's only one thing to thing for. It. Surely not. Surely not. You, surely you are not trying, going to try and defeat a pip. That would be unspeakably reckless. I shall... I shall assist you. I must. No, you can't fight him, Prince Ali. Not in your condition. Don't worry, Prince Ali. You can count on us. We'll defeat a pip and lift your curse. Why did I say it like that? Anyways. I, I believe you. Something about you makes me believe. Believe! A creep lurks deep within the ruins. I shall take you with, take you to him. This way. A people. It's like a pep or something. It's right over there. There's a key that required to open the door. But neither of these ruins. However, it's a shot on the wall in the cell. I wonder if it's some kind of clue. Two firms, what? Two firm friends play a leapfrog all across the floor. There's one more, I'm sure. Perhaps I'm not. Okay. Was there something written on the ground? 